I just want to give a quick rant about customer service. It, it just just pisses me off. Um, I don't know. I guess this is just me wanting this uh, automated future to come a little faster because customer service just pisses me off to the bad customer service just infuriates me to the umpteenth degree. I, I can't stress that enough. Um, about a couple weeks ago, I'll give you a couple instances and I'll tell you about the scenario that just happened to me. A couple of weeks ago, maybe a month ago, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's this Wendy's that um, right around the corner from uh, my university. And I like Wendy's. Wendy's to me, in my opinion, is one of the best burger establishments that there is when they do it right when they cook that burger right nothing beats it I, nothing but anyway i go to the uh what you call it go to the wendy's i have a hundred dollar bill on me i buy a double cheeseburger i get like ninety dollars like 94 and some change back right the lady, you know, pulls out my change from the drawer. She doesn't count it out to me. She just hands me a stack of uh, bills back, right? So I'm like, hold on, that's that's some some is a some is a ride here. You know, I, I smell a ruse, you know. So I'm sitting there and uh, I'm counting the change out, and it comes to like eighty four dollars and some change. She shorted me ten dollars. And I'm like, excuse me, excuse me, this, you didn't give me back the correct change. See, I didn't even put the money in my pocket yet. So it's, it's not like I did a sleight of hand. You know, my receipt states clearly that I should get $94 and some change back. And you only gave me 84. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. You was trying to get over, you know, you was trying to get over. And about a year or so ago, there's this um, soul food restaurant that opened up in my part of town. So, you know, everybody talking about support black businesses, support black businesses. So I'm like, all right, let me go. Let me get a, a, a two piece fish, some yams and uh, I don't know, some red beans and rice. Right. So I go to the junk. Uh, comes out to be like twelve dollars. Right. The, the meal I pay with a hundred. Obviously, I should be getting 88 and some change back, right? I count out my change. The gal is like, uh, so I, so I give her, I pay with 100 again, sorry. I pay with 100 again. The gal gives me my change back. I count it out before I leave. She shorted me like $30. She gave me back like 50 and some change. And I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, um, you did not give me back the correct change. He's like, oh, well, let me see the change. So I give her the change and she gives me back 70 something dollars. So I count it out again and then I had to tap because it's a drive through window. I tap on the window again. I'm like, ma'am, you still gave me back the incorrect amount of change. I need 88 and some change back. My meal came out to be 11 or $12 or so. I gave you 100, you should give me back 80, 87, 88. But you're giving me back 76, 77. Like, this is unacceptable. So now, you know, it's Martin Luther King Day and whatnot. And um, no schools, like, would have been the first day of uh, spring semester. But it wasn't. So, you know, this semester I got college algebra and physics. So I go to Walmart to get me a couple of notebooks, you know, a, a little a notebook for the class and a little planner to, you know, a little itinerary book. So I go to the register and I pay. It comes out to be like eight dollars and sixty cent. I give her a twenty. I should get back eleven dollars and forty cent, right? The gal pulls out two fives. She gives me my receipt and then gives me the two fives back. 
Then she closes her register. Then she closes her drawer. And like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, I, you know, I, I, obviously, you know, you should have, I, obviously I should have got 11 back, but she gave me 10 back and then gonna close the drawer. So I'm like, um, do you need to call your manager over here to open up your drawer to give me back my dollar? You know, and I'm sitting there waiting there for five minutes. At this point, it's not even a, you know, I, I, I speculate that she was probably on some shit to where she was like, oh, he probably just gonna figure that, you know, it's just a dollar. So he'll probably be like, oh, don't worry about it and just go on about his business. And I bet you, you know, she, you know, she probably pulled that little job, little hustle all the time working registers. And I bet you it's a bevy of people who come through there on the regular that she pulls that same scam on and they'll just be like, oh, it's a dollar. Don't worry about it. She probably clear about 20 to 30 extra dollars just on some overhead shit, just pulling that little job ass scheme a day. And I'm like, at this point, it's not even about the dollar. It's about the principle. That's my dollar. I want it. Just piss me off, man. Just that, just that little petty shit people do, man. That's why, that's why when I do go to Walmart, my, this wasn't my Walmart of choice. This isn't the Walmart I, I regularly frequent. The, the Walmart that I regularly frequent is the one who, that, that has the self-checkout line. Where I go there, shit, I scan the shit myself, bag it myself, it gives me my, um, my total, I put my money in the thing, it spits back out my correct change. Can't go wrong with that. That's why I'm like, man, I can't wait. I can't wait till they automate some of this customer, some of these customer services, uh, customer service jobs, man. This shit is ridiculous, man. It just pisses me off.